If you've ever been to PAX, whether it be Prime, East, or Australia, one thing you'll always notice is how great the Behemoth booth is. And with the recent release of Battle Block Theater, it was really exciting to see what their Game 4 was going to be after seeing a very strange trailer and the hint that it was a genre they'd never done before. Well, I rushed over to the booth and was very surprised to see that their next game is actually a turn-based strategy game. Now, this might sound like a strange departure for the Behemoth from their normal side-scroller type of game, but with influences like Advanced Wars and Fire Emblem and Civilization, they really seem to understand how to capture the strategy genre. And they did that by having balancing, a strong metagame where the type of weapon you use makes a big difference, uh, and the different types of enemies involved, and the type of strategy you need to use really did add to the legitimacy of a strategy game made by the behemoth. Uh, it had a great visual style, it had voice acting by Stamper, who did most of the voice acting in Battle Block Theater. And uh, if anyone's familiar with his voice work, it's amazing. The writing is hilarious, it's kind of tragic in a funny way, a little bit of a dark comedy. Uh, there is so much customization. Uh, from the types of weapon you can use, to the hats you wear, and all of that is just packaged in the game. All of it is dependent on how well you do in the game. Uh, when I was talking to the developers, they said they had no plans for microtransactions. Uh, the only reason they would ever do microtransactions is for like special DLC missions or anything like that, like similar to Fire Emblem Awakenings model. Uh, the game they've only been working on for a few months. They said this is the quickest they've ever started on a game and shown it. If you're familiar with their past work, Battle Block Theater took like six years to make, or five years. So it's very exciting to see them like getting a head start on this. And they said this game is much, much easier to develop uh, because you know they built the tools and now they just build levels around it. Uh, there's also online multiplayer, so you'll be able to play one-on-one -on -one against other people's like teams. Uh, so you have multiple party members who can wield different weapons. Like I said, there's advantage system in place, so if you have someone with a mace, they do better against someone wearing armor. If you have someone with a, a sword, they do better with people with no armor. There's like throwing axes you can use to stun people. I know there's arrows in the game. I'm gonna assume there's gonna be some sort of magic in the game. Uh, but there's also a really cool, weird lore going on about a space bear that crashed onto Earth and changed everything. And it seems like it takes place in the future because there's a couple moments of like futuristic technology. Uh, but yeah, the game so far is great. I was really surprised by it. Uh, you know, when I saw the trailer, I kind of guessed it was going to be strategy because you had like the hexa uh, the hexagons, which usually that's like a strategy game trope, you know, with the tiles they stand on. Uh, but it's great. It's got this weird random element to it as well, where if you walk up and you're standing next to two enemies, uh, it's random which one you hit, which some people were getting frustrated by that, but I also think that kind of adds to the strategy of it. Uh, but yeah, The Behemoth has made a totally competent strategy game. There's no release date yet. They honestly have no idea. You can assume it's going to come to Xbox One first, potentially come to Xbox 360, and then in six months to a year come to the PC. Uh, so yeah, I was really impressed by it. So far, it's one of my favorite games I've seen at PAX. Uh, I recommend looking out for this one, and if you get a chance to go to PAX East, uh, or probably PAX South, you will definitely want to check this game out. So thanks for watching. For more PAX coverage, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below what your thoughts on the game are, and let me know any kind of games you want to see coverage of, because I'm putting this video out on the second day of PAX, so I'll be seeing your comments. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.